they don't even have to ask for it. So McDonald's is going to try this, um, which is a lot different than uh, what you get right now at McDonald's. So um, that's their plan, and they're going to begin implementing that. Um, they're hoping to have them in all McDonald's by 2009, the end of 2009. Any questions? Oh, well, those three flavors are only, that's something different. They're adding more flavors now. Um, they didn't say exactly how many they're going to have. They're still kind of testing out the menus and everything. They're not going to have thousands of flavors, though, like Starbucks does. They're going to focus on, like, the popular flavors. Um, and, you know, they're not trying to be a coffee house like Starbucks is. They're just trying to give their customers a better choice and, um, you know, hopefully make some money in the process, you know, possibly bring in new traffic. But, you know, they're not trying to be a coffee house. They just want to offer their customers the choice of having coffees. And also, uh, in the article it stated that a lot of McDonald's con consumers don't even know what a latte is. Uh, that's me. I just like to keep it simple, and Starbucks has way too many options. Um, you might have just answered this question, but uh, do you think it's Star or McDonald's is actually trying to compete with Starbucks, or are they actually doing, as they're saying, try to cater to the consumer? I'm sure there's a lot of competition in there. You know, they see how much money Starbucks is making, and you know, they see an opportunity to get in on the money. And I think there's some competition in there, but you know, I think a lot of it too is just catering it to their customers and trying to expand their product line. You know, to grow their sales too. Um, the article says that states that there's uh, there are concerns about um, that the fact that the introduction of the whole coffee thing could slow down.